we continue to monitor storms across our area and we are beginning to get a look at the damage that is left behind in some of our areas. Uh, our Jonathan Stacy has been uh, driving around the area and is now south of Griffin. Jonathan, what are you seeing in your area? It is absolutely a mess down here, Courtney. We're trying to get into Griffin, and we've been trying to do that for the better part of the last hour. But all the roads, all the arteries, especially coming in from the south side of Spalding County to get in Griffin, they're closed down. And this is why, look behind me there, snap trees, one after the other. We can see right here, as we're not even at the epicenter of where there was likely a tornado touchdown, at least straight line winds came through just leaning over trees. Michelle, turn the camera up. I want you to see that power line right there. That power line is on the ground, just about 300 feet further down here. Once again, the people here are without power, and we have done our very best to get this live signal out to you because people are without cell service in this area. I want to point the camera down here. You can see there's a tree lying right there in the middle of the road. Obviously, contractors, along with power crews, they've come down here. Emergency officials, you likely hear a siren in the background right now. They're coming, they're trying to get people through, but imagine, this is at the top of the rush hour here in Spalding County. People are trying to get home, likely panicked after what they have heard or even seen at this point that has happened in the city of Griffin. This is near the Henry Jackson Road area. Henry Jackson Road that's to the south of Spalding County. Once again, we've heard of numerous trees now. We've seen it with our eyes. And also, we're getting reports that a gas line has burst. And so a gentleman came up to the Fox 5 storm chaser saying, can you help me? We can't get any calls out of here, but we need some help. We need you to let people know that we have a gas line that's burst here. There are a number of homes in this area. You normally would think of any area outside of the city as being quite rural. This area is a bit more developed. There are at least 20 homes within a half mile radius of where I'm standing at this point. Number of the roads in this area are blocked as a result of downed trees in the area. They're without power, without cell phone service. It is going to be one hell of a night here in Spalding County. We're trying to press our way into Griffin in the Fox 5 Storm Chaser. We'll have an update as soon as we get there. We'll